What's happening guys? So today we're going to go through our diet, our daily diet. Um, we're a little bit different. Tom's on a little bit more calories than I am at the moment. So we're starting off with breakfast. Tom's on eight eggs, I'm on six. Got a little bit of bacon, some mushrooms, some toast. Um, so we'll get into it. So hope you enjoy the video. Rams, if you're watching this, how do you make an eight egg omelette? Because this is really difficult. Looks like there's a lot of juice coming out of it. I, I tell you what, maybe we need two flippers. <laughs> nope, that's not right. Hey, Tom, it's a three man job. You hold the pan. Let's see if you can flip it. Oh, almost. <coughs> almost, guys. And keep it together as much as we can. Well, no surrender. Hold her, Tom boy. Hold her. Keep her tight, boy. Oh, come on. Look at that, please. Yeah, there you are. So, guys, meal one. As you can see, there's a lot of eggs on the table here. We have got an egg omelette with mushrooms and bacon inside it. Same with Luke. He's got six eggs. I've got eight eggs. Then we've got a nice kids' portion here to compare how big our meals are. This is eight eggs. So this is the three egg omelette, and then my one is the six egg omelette. So in the omelettes we have bacon, mushrooms in each one. Tom and I are on four bits of toast each. And then this is like a normal portion that we're trying to show you guys. So this is really heavy, this is really light. I'm really hungry, I'm about to fight. Meal one is bon appetit complete, so yeah, nice and easy, filled a hole in our bellies for a wee while, and uh, we will see you for meal de. So this is meal two. We have protein of your choice. My impact way protein. I like the chocolate. You can go for any flavour you want. And then a panic of fruit. We have three scoops in here, which is about 70 grams of protein. Right, you guys. I've got my my protein uh, whey protein chocolate flavour today. It's right, yeah. Tom's made me a wee shake. And then my panet of fruit, um, melon, pineapple, and mango, because I'm feeling a little bit spicy with that, whatever that is. But uh, yeah, if you're needing any any supplements, proteins, creatines, pre-workouts, whatever it is, please go check out my protein, their website, and always use code STOLTMANS for a huge discount. Meal number three, so this is basically our pre-workout meal. So I've got ground steak mince with boiled potatoes, some veg in here as well. I've got a pork, an apple burger with some potato wedges. If it's good, I did it. If it's bad, Sinead did it. So we'll soon that's find out if, what, what happened. So let's get in it. Being uh, consistent. Being consistent. Do you have urges to cheat? All yes, the time. all the time, yeah. Really? Yeah, but being consistent. The thing that stops me from cheating is I get a cheap weekend now. I think that's the thing that helps me. If I don't, if I don't have a cheap meal or a cheap week, like two few meals in the week, I'll just, I'd probably end up cheating throughout the week when I'm in to stay strict. So the best thing is that I know Saturdays, Sundays, I just blow out and eat what I want. So. I stay as strict as I can Monday, Friday. And so then, would you say it's important to have a cheat day? Yeah, it's important to have a cheat day. Not cheat day, cheat meal, reset your body. I think you really need to have it. I mean, we I have a cheat meal before every session. 
that's heavy and I use it for performance and you do it, it's really important to have a cheat, especially for recovery. So after part of me so say like a Thursday night squat session, you came home, you really, really fatigued and stuff, a nice big a carbohydrated meal will be better for you, it'll be better than a chicken and rice meal. So yeah. Cheap meals, dirty meals are really good for you. And pick a mixes. Is that the same for you? Like, do you think the hardest part is not cheating on the diet? Or? Uh, yeah, I think so. I agree with what Tom says about like you got to listen to your body as well. So for for us, our two most important sessions of the week are Monday deadlifts and Friday, which is tomorrow, uh, which we have a huge event day. So if we're going home tonight and we're feeling very like no energy, squats didn't go well, whatever, you know, we, we look at that, we speak to our nutritionist and they'll advise on, you know, what we need to do. So that might not be the same for every person out there, right? So if you're trying to lose weight, if you're a bodybuilder, if you're in the marathons, fitness, you know, what, whatever it is, you know, we have loads of members in the Strength Academy, which is awesome. And we're always advising them in different kind of ways to do. But for us, our main day, the biggest day is Friday, so we need everything to be banging and everything just to be primed and ready to go for Friday. So um, that's why, especially on a Thursday, it's really critical, as it is every day, but especially on a Thursday, really critical to stick to the diet, to see how your body's feeling. And then come Friday when events are ready, it's all go. So. Alright guys, so meal number four, we have another protein shake, exactly the same as the morning, three scoops in here and we have a valley bar. Nice and simple and uh, not too heavy on the belly. <laughs> Meal four, done. Just finished training squats. Quite a good session tonight actually. Um, Top set of 300 for three, nice and easy. I've got some bits and pieces back in the office so I normally come back because she's prepped me some food. So I'll whack that in the microwave, I'm about to get stuck in. Um, I think Tom's on his way back as well. He has a, a cheat meal tonight, so lucky Tom. I've got chicken and boiled potatoes. But for a hectic day at the moment, hectic times, but we're getting there. Really excited for events day tomorrow. Um, so that's why it's so important to keep up with uh, the nutrition, the diet, the training, the consistency of everything. Because like for Tom and I, Fridays is the, one of the biggest days for us. It's a really big event session. Um, so stay tuned and make sure you tune in for the big event session coming soon. It's the last meal of the night. Usually I have this at home. Had a few things to do in the office. A nice cheap meal to get ready for events tomorrow. Nice and simple. Burger, chips, cheeseburger with some salad. So we're gonna get this in the gob, then we're gonna get home, go to bed, and get ready for f events. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> that's funny. Huh? guys last meal of the day done as you can see burger and chips the most unhealthy meal of the day reason for that is we got events tomorrow we are trying to get as many carbs and calories in as so we have so we wake up nice and refueled and ready to go so gonna go home and chill now and uh, enjoy the rest of the night thank you for watching stay safe smile and stay spicy and please don't stop ringing that little bell So guys, while filming this video, we had some pretty devastating news. Um, our family dog, Murphy, um, passed away. He had a, a bit of a seizure in the morning and eventually passed away later on during the day. So Murphy was our uh, dog for 15 years. Really devastating, you know, for those of you guys that have pets and know the kind of heartache when, when they do go um, really really sad and not only that um baker our our other family dog uh he actually left a, a few months ago um he just walked off and he never came back again so 
pretty devastating kind of few months for for us and for for our dad as well. So uh, we thought it'd be nice just to th throw up some photos of of Baker and Murphy. Um, mm -hmm. You know they meant a lot to us all and really lovely dogs and they'll both be greatly missed. So hope you enjoy the photos um, and yeah, Baker and Murphy, we love you and we'll see you soon.